One of my favorite features inside of Perfect Effects is the Effect Options panel right below the Effects stack. When you have an image like this one that you'd like to make basic color and tonal adjustments to, you can actually create your own without having to wander through different types of effects. First, I want to lighten my shadows and my midtones, so I'll select the Tone Enhancer from my drop down menu. It's going to automatically apply contrast for me, which I'm going to leave that box checked. Then I'm going to go down to my shadow slider and I'm just going to start to bump this up so that it'll really lighten the people in the photo quite a bit. Next, I'm going to go down to my local contrast slider and I'm going to drop this down all the way to zero because I don't want their faces to appear too gritty. Then I'll just go up to my brightness slider and I'll adjust that just enough so that the entire image starts to look quite a bit lighter. Next, I'm going to go back up to my effects panel and I'll add one more layer, and I'll go back down to my Effect drop-down menu and select Color Enhancer. First, I want to go ahead and try out this Auto Cast Removal box, and once I click it, it'll look through my image and figure out what color cast is on it and try and reverse it. It does a wonderful job of taking away those bluish tones and really warming up this portrait. Then all I need to do is just boost my saturation, and I'm good to go. Now I took multiple images of this couple on the same day, so I'm going to save these color and tone enhancements so that I can apply them to another photo from that same afternoon. I'll go up to my preset menu, select Save Preset, and name it what I'd like to. I'll make sure that I put it in my Liz's Portrait Presets category and I'll go ahead and create it. Now, when I go ahead and open up another image from that same afternoon, I can apply that preset. So I'll go to File, Open, select another image, and then I'll go straight to my effects panel. Then under my presets and underneath Liz's portrait presets, you'll see this is my Allegra and Craig effect that I just created. Once I click it, it'll apply those color and tone settings so that all of my images from that same day will be nice and consistent.